Never before seen IRS files obtained by ProPublica reveal just how little our country's riches are paying in taxes. Take Amazon founder and CEO Jeff Bezos, the world's richest man. In 2007, the multi-billionaire did not pay a penny in federal income taxes. He did it again in 2011. One year, he even claimed a $4,000 child credit. Tesla founder Elon Musk, the second richest person in the world, also did not pay any federal income taxes in 2018. Michael Bloomberg has done the same in recent years. And the years when they did pay taxes, they were staggeringly low. From 2014 to 2018, the 25 wealthiest Americans saw their worth rise a collective $401 billion. They paid a total of $13.6 billion in federal income taxes in those five years which sounds like a lot, but only amounts to a true tax rate of 3.4%. The worst culprit? Warren Buffett, who paid a true tax rate of 0.1%, or less than 10 cents for every $100 he added to his wealth. (laughs) So, you know, you understand that this is a country that pays billionaires to be billionaires. And, uh, you know, listen, that's where the money is. That's where the money goes. You know, we don't have... uh, Uh, You know, the Koch brothers, let's just look at the Koch brothers, okay? They have uh, Americans for Prosperity. They have ALEC. They have uh, Heritage. They have Heritage Action. Uh, Fox News, OAN, Newsmax. I mean, uh, every, almost every single solitary show on talk radio, if anybody's still listening to radio, uh, all you're going to get there in the way of political discussion is going to be conservative outrage and anger and racism and hatred and just keeping the base ginned up just keeping the base angry just keeping the base flailing and keeping the base from looking at the actual policies of the party that they think is on their side i mean it's just such a roost it's such a racket i can't even explain to you how you know and 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 very very wealthy uh democrats they they very rarely support media okay they very rarely pony up they very rarely uh, you know invest in it they we don't have a heritage foundation we don't have a heritage action and americans for prosperity and freedom works and uh you know no and and, and that's why the media is uh, you know all theirs because they pay they pay the wealthiest americans have had this deal for a really long time and it's only getting worse and that's why we have income inequality because most Americans work for a living, okay? And when you work for a living, you get taxed on the earnings. But wealthy people don't earn. Wealthy people either inherit or they gain. They live off gains that their wealth is making, right? And that isn't taxed at the same in the same way. It just isn't. Now, that's why the Democrats' idea of a wealth tax, Elizabeth Warren's idea of a wealth tax, or Joe Biden's idea of increasing uh, the tax rate for capital gains or increasing the tax rate on the richest, uh, you know, corporations in this country, or even having an alternative minimum tax so that if you don't earn through labor and you only gain through investment, that if you're total at the end is 3% or one-tenth of 1% or 10 cents, uh, you know, or one penny on every $100, then you have to pay an alternative minimum tax. These are the ideas Democrats have. You, do you really think that the big money is all about that? You know, they talk a good game. Warren Buffett, he says, oh, yeah, I want to pay more. And uh, over there, you have this one that says, oh, this is wrong, but I'm only doing what's legal. And then when Donald Trump stands up there and he only pays $750 in federal taxes, his freaking universe of haters actually say, it's because he's smart. It's not because he's smart. It's because it's rigged. It's rigged. That's where the real rigging is. The real rigging is in the drawing of maps about, you know, district maps. The real rigging is the gerrymander. The real rigging is uh, all these Republican, uh, you know, legislatures passing suppression laws. And the real rigging, where the rubber meets the road rigging, meaning why do they rig the other things? They rig it so that they could have a rigged tax system. This This is exactly the kind of corruption that we say we're rooting out 
uh, in Guatemala, in Honduras, in El Salvador, right? This is the kind of corruption that we say, oh, well, politicians shouldn't get to pick who wins an election. The people do. The people should. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, we're ending up like that, like more like that than we are like, uh, you know, they're ending up like us. And by the way, the reason why they in Central America are so chaotic and so poor and so completely anti-democratic is because we keep overthrowing their governments all in the name of trade. Yeah, we overthrow their governments. You know, we, well, we didn't do it, but um, Honduras actually had a president. His name was Zelaya, okay? And uh, President Zelaya was all pro-union and anti-corruption and all these things. Well, he wanted a poll to go on the ballot asking people if they were willing to rewrite the Constitution of Honduras. It, it wasn't anything that would have changed any law or anything in the Constitution. It was just to ask the people when they voted, how did they feel about changing their Constitution? The military in Honduras decided that's not going to happen. And in the middle of the night, he was literally in his pajamas. They ran him out of town, and they, they, they made him leave, and he went to Costa Rica in his pajamas. So what did the American government say? Well, at first, the American government was outraged. Outraged, I tell you. That was the Obama, Hillary Clinton, Secretary of State era. And then Hillary realized, oh, well, if we say it was a military coup, which it was, if we say it was a military coup, then we won't be able to send aid to Honduras and she had to figure out whether or not, uh, you know, aid to Honduras was in the best interest of the United States or was um, denying a military coup in the best interest of the United States. And guess which one she chose? Guess. So she denied that there was a military coup in Honduras. But there was a military coup in Honduras. You see what I mean? And that's the kind of crap that could happen here. And that's why I keep saying we're going to look more like them than they are going to look like us. And it was all because he was pro-union. It was all because he was he wanted to raise wages. And you know, in Honduras, basically, they do textile. They sew. They sew. They make textiles. I mean, you know, it's just this is this this, this whole system of the money gets to say. This whole system of we could bribe the politicians. We can rig elections. We can. Uh, you know, after somebody wins and we know that they've won, we can then actually gift them more than a quarter of a million dollars for their own personal bank account. I mean, the, the idea that that's the road that the Republicans are choosing for this here country should scare the bejesus out of every single person that's listening. And the moneyed Democrats, the moneyed elite, the people who have experienced the American dream in this country to stay quiet or to feign ignorance or to be ignorant at this moment in time is unforgivable. Unforgivable. Because it's on. It is on. There is a full attack on our democracy. I mean, a full attack. To where the legislate. I mean... You look at Central America, you look at Honduras, you look at El Salvador, you say, oh, they're so corrupt. They're so, how, does it, how does it become like that? How does it become like that? Money. It's all about money. So down there, the people with money are the drug dealers. They're the cartels, okay? That's, that's who makes money down there. Here, it's the corporate elite. Here, we have billionaires that just get richer and richer every single year and pay less and less. And you know what? They're used to it. They're used to it. And they want more of it. And you have politicians that want their peace too. So we're becoming like a mafia state. Our whole entire system is becoming one giant RICO organization. <laughs>